Now, CPU plus more voltage equals overclocking. Where do you perform this overclocking operation? Where does this surgery take place? Well, in the computer, it takes place in the BIOS room. What does overclocking do? It increases performance. You can ratchet up your CPU and or GPU, and then your apps will react more quickly. But now, component longevity, that is the CPU and GPU's longevity, is an issue. Overheating can cause problems, like intermittent problems, which are the worst ones in the world to solve. So, by increasing the voltage, voltage plus, that equals beating up the CPU. And now your 15-round fight gets turned into a 9-round fight. Why? Because, well, just look at the uh, electrical side of it. Power equals voltage times current. That's the formula. Increased voltage means increased power, which means increased heat. And heat plus plus is pointing a gun at your CPU. So to compensate for that, they developed these water cooling systems. Pipes and cool H2O equals less heat. But water cooling systems can be a little pricey. So let's look at some of these bio settings. Mm, well, the ones that are relative to overclocking, that is. Here's the CPU. Oh, and here's an internal clock. Internal to the CPU. And that regulates the rate at which instructions get executed. That's the purpose of this internal clock. Then we have a north bridge that connects the CPU to RAM and the video card. There's the RAM and there's the connection. And there's the external clock. Hmm. Now PC components run at different speeds. The CPU now looks at the external clock speed of a component and ratchets down to match that speed. That is, when he's working with that particular component. This external clock runs at 166 megahertz. What does that mean? This is the base frequency used to synchronize the speed of their joint operations. Really, what does that mean? That means that 166 megahertz is the theoretical maximum speed at which the CPU can send and receive data to and from components. That's as fast as he can get outside of the CPU die. Computationally, the CPU may be able to calculate at gigahertz speed. But those gigahertz speed computations would be internal. But externally, going outside the CPU die, communicating with the outside components, uh, 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 166 megahertz speed max. That is according to line 2 above. Ah, too long. I'll continue in the next video. This is George Ball. Please share and rate this video, and good luck.